raccoon problem. They, they've they marked us as fr animal friendly and they come every night in the night now and join in our recycling and get some food, right? Get some supper. And we were headed out. We didn't do any Saturday shopping. We usually go shopping on Saturdays, but today we're doing it on Sunday. It's super humid out, but rainy. What'd you find? Snails. Snails, we are infested with snails. No, I found now it's ladybug season. Snail and ladybug season. Whoever finds a ladybug is good luck. You know what other season it is? Leaf season. There is gonna be a lot of raking going on in this yard soon. I hate when you drag your... Feel, I have high heels on today and I'm dragging them, driving and her crazy. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of leaves. Usually I like, I'm the kind of person who's out here raking every single day until they're all gone. But now this year I'm like, I'm leaving it. So they're all done falling and then I'm gonna do it in one go. We're gonna have one huge leaf party. We're gonna invite everybody over, all the kids outside, Sam outside, and we're all gonna rake up all the leaves together. You guys wanna do it? No. And then we'll have hot chocolate and marshmallows. And then no. I will, well, I'm, I will come out so I can take a selfie. But yeah, I mean, she's gonna come to our leaf cleaning party just to take a selfie. Did somebody help you put that on? Yeah. Oh, we should check it and make sure it won't fall off. She found herself a stick. She's cleaning her room today. I found the stick. Is in her top drawer where her socks are. They were, she was looking for her clothes today. I was and Gabby. For my socks. Oh, Gabby was looking for Gabby's socks in Sophie's drawer and found a Sophie's selfie stick. Did you find any socks? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm wearing them. Some of you guys know oh, that somebody's blue. birthday's coming up. Whose birthday's oh, coming up? I think color to be blue like you, the ocean. I like it. That's pretty. Kind of but we're doing... Things. Tell them they're like wine glasses. See, that's the bottoms. You attach them. So tell them what your theme is for your birthday. Horses. Horses. And where are we going for your birthday? The horse barn. Right. We are actually having Sophia's birthday at the horse barn with some of her yeah. friends. And so we're here at Party City trying to figure out what we're gonna get for her birthday. We're in, we are in official party mode. We want this to be like the su a super cool, fun birthday party. Anyway, we're looking for some horse themed stuff. All right, so this is the themed section. We got princess, we got trolls, we got Mickey Mouse, we have Hello Kitty, we have My Little Pony. 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 Shopkins. Oh, we're not doing Shopkins. We're doing a horse theme at the horse barn. They so got dogs. They got dogs. This is all the girl stuff. They got Barbie. They got peace signs. They got monster. Cinderella. Yeah, this stuff is super fun. I love looking at all these little things. You find candy and little surprise bag things. These little games. Crown for so We need a crown? Yeah. We are not Crazy finding straws. horse stuff though. And here we find all the candy. Chocolate coin. Oh, don't peel, peel it open. I like these. Are these chocolate? Yeah. I ate already a package of that. Excuse me, miss. No cameras in the store. Okay, sorry, sir. Like your nose. Meow. Yeah. Give me some food. Give me some food. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. We're looking at the wall of costumes. Oh my gosh, a horse! A horse! That's cool. This is cool because it makes. There's a thing there when you. Add, Can you see? Can you see? Kind of. All right, here's horse Gabby. No, Could you even see? Where do you look out of? Right here. Yeah, Okay. <laughs> it's a scary looking horse. <laughs> You're the scariest looking horse I ever saw. <laughs> Do you like it? It hurts, doesn't it? I like the horse. We can play the world horses. Sorry, they're so slow. At the mall, and Sam is upgrading his phone. And it's just so weird. I say to Gabby, this is the phone that I want. It's the Note 8. And we just came into the store, and we could see ourselves on on the phone. Is that weird? Is that the weirdest thing? Anyway, this is the phone that I love. It's the Note. It has a big pen. Look, I just picked up this phone, and there we are on on the phone. Is that weird? 
It's such a weird That's concept. There's Gabby there, and then there's Gabby there. There's Ruby. That's the Note 8. But look at it. It's supposed to have an, yeah, but it's supposed to have infinity in the screen, and it's like. Look how long it is. Yeah, but look at there's not infinity. Yeah, but uh, the movie isn't that big. Oh. I see what That's you're like saying. Not big? that big, really. No, I know. I love it. Do you like it? That's the phone I'm getting next. It's my favorite oh, phone. <laughs> Okay, now we're in our jeans and we are looking at boots because you can never have enough boots, especially when you're at the horse barn in the mud. Sophie found these ones. What do you guys think? You think she could wear these to the barn? They go, they no, go. not for the barn. Oh. The high heels. Oh, these they're just. These are my favorite kind. High guys. heels. They go up to heel. They go up to her waist. <laughs> these boots um, are my favorite kind of shoes put together high heels and sneakers. <laughs> I use oh, some sneakers. They're cute. I, I like those. Right now. Do you like those, Gabby? Those are good yeah. winter sneakers. I like them. They're high heels too. What do you guys think? Do you like them? I like them. Tell me something. Why would you wear this? Why? They feel you can't even walk. Don't know how to walk in them. You can't even walk. You can't walk in them. Okay, let's see you walk. You got you can't walk me, you can't walk. Let's see you walk. It's hard walking with the string attached. Let's try on a new pair of boots. You can't even get them on. No, it's just I can barely do it. See, he turned around, he almost fell. Look at those boots. They're pretty neat. I have to show mom. Mom. Yeah. All right, we found our way over to Claire's, which is our kids' favorite stores. And um, if you guys don't know, we did a video here like about a year ago when Sophie was just six, and we called it. I like these colors, but this one feels better. And we called it Drama at Claire's because Sophie wanted it everything she saw here like 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 i said she was only six anyway there's nothing crazy in that video but for some reason recently that video took off and it has over 200,000 views on it i'll link it in the icards here if you guys want to watch it Do you guys love claire's the way my girls love it gabby loves all this paris stuff you like it the black one the black one along with my stuff. even dad gets even, what i'd like this Oh, it's beautiful with a horse head. When Gabby was really little, she used to have all these kind of things. Horse earrings, horse everything. She still has them actually. That's a pretty one. It's a storming, blistery day. I can't even go out there because, whoa, whoa. Can you guys hear that? The wind is just insane. <laughs> Ruby is still really freaked out. She's still nervous when people come to the door. She's like, what's happening? What's happening, Mom? What's happening out there? Yeah, you are. I love it when there's like a big storm. I love thunder and lightning too. Do you love thunder and lightning, Sophia? Yeah. Anyway, we are home from the mall. We've literally just been relaxing this whole entire day. Okay, well. Oddly, I've been relaxing, the girls have been relaxing, and Sam actually was working. He cleaned up outside, did a bunch of stuff, took the air conditioning out. Uh, I'm starting a channel. What? I'm starting a channel. Of what kind of channel? A YouTube channel. Look at Macy's in her, cra in her crate, even though she's not locked in there. She's like, I'm oh. afraid of the storm, I need to go to bed. I didn't she's do a scared. video yet, but just to let you know, my channel name is Sophia. Sophia's channel is called Sophia. What about what hangs? Do you have any videos to go on it yet? Like no. Home? No, not yet. Just we're gonna make one. Yeah, tomorrow. That we'll... includes snow globe. She wants to do a craft. She has this little kit, a snow globe making kit, and she wants to do that. I think that she wants to do toys and stuff on her channel. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but she's just been dying for a channel. 
begging me and begging Sam, and I was like, no, I can't handle any more channels. And Sam was like, of course you can have a channel, you sweet little girl. I love you so much, I'll give you anything you want. Seems like all of our subscribers are having a birthday all around the same time. With 15,000 subscribers, it seems like there's a birthday every single day. Um, our subscriber, Daiquiri the Horse Girl, her name is Maggie, it's her birthday today, so, we want to say happy birthday to Maggie, right? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! You want to tell them what you did? Hey, do you want to tell them what you did, Ruby? This happened this morning. She says it wasn't me, it was the Chihuahuas. Right? Right? Was it the Chihuahuas? Ruby peed on the rug this morning. It's the first time since she's been here that she peed inside. Actually, the second time. She has been really good. I let her out this morning with all the dogs, and then when she was all done, and she came in and ran right in front of me and peed on the rug. Could be because she was mad that we were gone yesterday. What is happening there? <laughs> Toby's so funny. He reminds me of Ziggy. He's trying to get under the covers. No, he's trying to scratch. But he just can't work it. No. Toby. He looks so skinny, but he's so much chubbier than when we first got him. <clears throat> yeah, I card in the top right corner on. When we first got him. Oh, good idea. You're like amazing. It's like you're a YouTuber or something. So we'll put an eye card up here and you guys can see the video when we first got Toby. It's over a year. We had him a year in June. Yeah, that's right. It's been a year since we've had Toby. Right? Your mama's boy? He is my boy. He reminds me of Ziggy so much. When I saw Ziggy the other day, all I could think of was Toby. Because he's so sweet. And kind of not that smart. Whoa. Yeah, he's definitely not smart. <laughs> he is smart. He's just smart in his own way. And Cookie's like, don't pay attention to him. Don't pay attention to him. It's me that's the most important. Look at Ruby's like, hey, I want to be friends. Our little no, dogs. Ruby's our little dogs are not friends with Ruby yet. They're mean to you, huh, Ruby? You mean to Ruby? Are you mean? Oh, you just gave them a kiss. You just gave them a kiss, Cookie. Did you just give them a kiss? You wanted to taste them? What's the matter with you? I like how she sits there like a person. What's the matter? All right, you guys, look at this horse. This is the guy that I found that seems kind of promising. So. <clears throat> but he's 16 hands, though. He is 16 hands, but you can never find a perfect horse. We just have to find the one that's the most suited for us. So this is him. Isn't he pretty? He looks amazing with white. <clears throat> Yeah, I like the white on his I face. I like him. Do you like him? No, I like white snow. Oh, I like him. And he's really friendly with kids, that picture. Yeah, uh, so in this picture, see those glowing eyes? That's a cat on his back. So basically, it says, it is with a heavy heart that I have to sell my sweet boy. I just had a baby and he's not getting the love and attention that he deserves. Pedro is a quiet 12 year old, 16.2 hand high thoroughbred gelding looking for his new forever home where he will be loved, pampered and spoiled, suitable for light ring work and trails and is perfect for the confident beginner. He was a school horse when I first got him but he did not enjoy this. He is best suited as a one person horse. He has lots of ring work put into him. However, he's had time off and would need a good schooling ride. Very soft in the mouth and the hands. Could be suitable for schooling level shows with the right person and some more work. A good home is a must. So uh, I emailed this lady last week and I talked to her and I asked her about why is he only a, like why is he only good for some light ring work and she said that he's, he can jump, he can do all the things that he needs to do, um, but that she preferred to talk about it with me on the phone. So we got super busy, we went to the barn on Friday, and then we had Jacob's birthday party yesterday, so we weren't able to call her. I'm gonna call her tomorrow, and we're gonna talk about him, and we're just gonna see if she thinks we're a good fit for him, and we're gonna see if we think he's a good fit for us, and if he is, we're gonna go and see him. So when we go and see him, what will happen is that I'll take a video of him with the girls riding, and then I'll send it to Fiona. And if Fiona looks at it and thinks that he could be a good fit, then either she'll come and see him with us, or we will have a one month trial where he'll come to our barn and we'll ride him and she'll work with them and see if he's a good fit. So those are all the things that we have in place to see if this horse is gonna be a good fit for us. 
So that's going to happen this week. I'll let you, I'll update you guys tomorrow and tell you what happened during my phone call and if we're going to get to go and see him. He is quite a bit of a distance, so we have to drive. So we'll have to plan our visit. But yeah, that's the horse that I'm looking at right now. Hi guys. We're just lounging around looking at all these funny comments. Sophia's right here. All right, so we're going to end today's vlog, or I'm going to end today's vlog. But before we do, comment of the day. And the comment is from Ruby Vlogs. Ruby. What does it say? How did you get into Schleich? Please use as question day. Please use as question of the day. How did we get into Schleich? I, I never got into Schleich. How did you get into Schleich? I... Do you not know, actually? Do you know how we, we got into know. <clears throat> We just like, hatched like originally from a store. Okay, here's how they got into Schleich. Probably saw videos of it. When we started going to the tax store, they had, um, it was all briar. It was all briar things. So one Christmas they got all briar things. One time we met their aunt, Dawn, somewhere, and she ended up buying them two Schleich horses. They went missing for a while. <clears throat> then, I didn't get a Schleich horse. I got two And then, I buttons. think, two years ago, someone went to Germany <clears throat> and brought back some Schleich horses for them. And, and then it just took off from there. They just went and wanted more Schleich horses. And more Schleich horses, and they saw a barn they wanted, and other things they wanted, and that's how they got into Schleich horses. Yes. And I like Schleich horses. Um, they got new Briar uh, horses out that are the same size as Schleich, but they don't look as good quality uh, as Schleich horses. It's a good sturdy plastic, I think. <clears throat> yeah, but I like Schleich way better. Than, Do you? Yeah. Do you like Schleich way better? Uh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to end today's vlog and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.